Hi everyone, it's Kira here today and I'm bringing you the Smart Doll Romper Pattern. Uh, a lot of people had problems with this pattern, um, even my first attempt I failed at, uh, but it did help me understand there's one final scene that you're going to do which is the crutch scene. Uh, you can construct the rest of it but leave that one till last otherwise you'll never get in to do the waistband. So I'm going to be using ribbon, um, I'm not going to cut it out from the fabric but go ahead and cut yours out and I'm also going to be using bias tape um, for all the straps and for the waistband so I'm going to cheat a little bit but if you are going to use the pattern um, make sure you've put it on the fold for the waistband and then make sure that your straps go on the bias so make sure that those diagonals line up now we've got the back of the front and so the front's done on the fold um, then we've got the two uh, pieces the pant pieces um, and you want to notch the hemline and it just makes it easier to find that hemline because it is a centimeter um, to turn it up and get it going you also want to notch where the waistband starts especially on the front of the pants um, and then go ahead and cut that out. Now I used a water soluble uh, marker for the straps and you want to mark those notches because that's where you sew to uh, and the same for the waistband. Um, I'm going to use pinking shears to reduce the bulk um, but if you want to overlock make sure you overlock before you sew um, the center back seam together because you won't get the smart doll stand in now this is the bias tape this is the front piece um, I've just pinned that on to my front piece uh, so and I'm going to stitch in uh, in that fold there and then it rolls all the way over um, all the way to the back and then I top stitch from the front down this is the back piece um, you want to sew from the top down to your first pin and then skip the middle part in the bottom uh, between those two blue pins basically um, you want to keep that open so we can get that smart doll stand then we got our two um, pants pieces and we're just going to sew the center front crutch um, so it's not the actual crutch seam but the center front and the center back so I'm gonna do all of that at once now you want to jump on your sewing machine Danny's pattern does say about seven millimeters um, I think the bias binding tape is about five millimeters but seven millimeters on my machine is where that one is so I'm just going to be following that now with the bias binding I'm just doing it that in that little ditch um, and then yeah so you could see me skipping over that little part and then you can just cut your threads later and just sewing in all of those main seams at once here I am turning over the front of the, um, it takes a little bit of working, don't worry if it flattens out a little bit, um, you do want to keep a little bit of curve in there, that's why we use the bias, um, and I just sewed the back piece on uh, just very quickly, and there you go, you can see how I folded that over, um, and then I just pin that into place, so I'll go from the front side and pin down that flap because that's going to be the under part of the sewing when I get in and I'll show you in a sec so here we are um, so this is me sewing and you're just going to top stitch and that will catch that back down you always want to see this um, top stitch from the top um, because yeah it, it's a prettier stitch and now take the center front and you want to put those two bits together and you just want to stitch um, a little bit in there to make it into a v-shape now here I've got the, the straps so I'm just going to start at the side seams and sometimes it can take a little bit of warping um, but you just want to start at the side seam and you want to pin and that line should match up basically where that top of the shoulder begins and then you're going to wrap it all the way around and we're going to put the back on so with um, the tape you want to have the most of the fabric um, to push towards the neck so it folds directly over it does take a little bit of um, 
understanding and I even took my time and figuring it out at first um, but now I've, I've seen a couple of these so it makes it a little bit easier go ahead and pin um, as many pins as you like um, especially with um, small dolly clothing um, it just makes it easier pushing it through the machine so if it feels more stable um, and those pins are really fine so I can sew directly over them if I, I need to um, as you can see I just started from the side seam and I stitched to that first line and then I stitched the back so I don't stitch all the way through if you've got the same color thread um, for doing it you could go all the way through but I'm using white on yellow so it's a little bit contrasting um, and I just realized that I uh, hadn't done the top stitch of the the stand so I start at the bottom and then go all the way around because you want that stronger bit at the bottom all right and here I am flipping over the side seam uh, the uh, straps sorry um, and just basically and then I pinned it all into place and then I'm stitching it down um, so basically very similar to what we did before but I do it in one long run now because it's the top stitch so I basically plant it in the middle and I just go all the way through now you want to locate your front and your back um, your front should have a couple notches on it as well but your back has always got that longer seam and you want to match up that center back seam um, with the middle of the middle of the back um, it does get covered over by the waistband but old habits die hard and I have to match them perfectly um, it's just the way I've been taught how to sew and here's the front bit where I'm finding those little tiny notches uh, and that just helps me understand um, I do actually snip a center front notch as well so I can just line them all up together but you don't have to um, as long as you've got those other two and here I am just sewing always um, press uh, after you've sewn as well especially this between this next bit you want to press those seams open and there you go there's my lovely junction uh, my uh, teachers would be proud of that one for me um, I have actually already pre-pressed those seams open before I went along to doing this and the, you want to line up that top um, as best as possible and then align up your center the middle seams and then there should be a notch as well that you've um, marked out in the top and then you're just going to sew all the way down that side seam and there you go if you open it up they should meet perfectly if it's out it's going to put everything out um, you can go ahead and stitch those down with your machine um, but I do mine by hand it just makes it a little bit easier uh, and my machine on that tiny little bit of area when I pressed I also pressed up the uh, hem so and then I just stitch that down also here I'm stitching the waistband the very first little bit so it stays in place I didn't do this on my first one um, just the fold back and the top stitching should keep it in place now you want to turn it the right way out just makes it easy uh, lo locate your waist strip and I've actually got it upside down there you want the the lines um, going they've got a slight diagonal lines you want to make sure that they're going down to wider um, to the hips and you line the center back up first then move along to the side seam and I actually noticed that I didn't put it in the right position so it just takes a little bit of fiddling around you want to try and get the center of that band in the middle um, of that seam all the way through um, and I was just checking the pattern there to see how much gap and space um, you'll notice that it doesn't kind of sit right at the moment um, there might be a little bit of puckering but when you um, turn it back inside out um, and I'm just pinning making sure but you can see um, it will actually disappear and here we go uh, and we just want to stitch as close to that top line as possible um, and you, you just roll it around it's really quite easy once you do one side you can take out the pins and then you can go ahead and do the other side 
of that waistband and really top stitch that um, top down and that's pretty much it the last seam here now is that middle crunch seam it is kind of l shaped um so really follow it um you want to sew your seam allowance to that um the seam meeting and then back across um to the other one so turning it almost like a 90 degree angle and i just wanted to have a quick look at what i've done so i turned it into and i after I overlocked that um, little center crutch seam, I'm just, I just stitch stitch it, like, or just stick top stitch it down. You know, don't see it, but it just keeps it down. Here I am doing the ribbon. This is probably the last little step. Um, so I put the elastic on one side uh, of the ribbon and I'm just sewing it down. Um, I actually do, and then I fold it back um, and pin it and then sew it again. So there's two lines and it just gives it a little bit more flatter um, And it won't, it's easier to pull through um, the clothing I find especially with the little miniature stuff um, I'd already pre singed the ends of the ribbon as well So there's my elastic and I just check to make sure that it's nice and strong Grab a safety pin and now we're just pushing it through the middle of the thing just work it your way through it easily works through and once you've pulled it out you just basically massage it into place and you're pretty much completed and you can throw it on your smart doll and admire your handiwork so I hope that helps you um, sewing this little smart doll romp and pattern and I hope you can create beautiful ones like me Thank you.